Hello Pisces. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoidsha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you are connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they are feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. And the way I do my readings in this particular recording that I have, um, I channel through my higher intuitive self and I actually don't channel through any spirit guides. Only in the end I do channel Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, to provide you with some advice according to this reading. This reading is very strong, and some of you may feel that these are your feelings and emotions because you have the mystery card. For me, that is my past life card. So some of you might actually be, there you go, sexuality. Some of you might be in <clears throat> a very intense connection where it's difficult to let go of this person. This could be your twin flame soulmate or your karmic partner, maybe even more. But those are the top three that I've seen that are very strong. This person has had a spiritual awakening, even you have, because of this card. Wow. Very intense connection. On a side note, <clears throat> on my other channel called Asnointia Audio, if some of you want to learn more about past life related relationships on my other channel somebody asked me is it free yes all of my videos are free so on my other channel which is a snoichia audio have a look at the video that's called past life and spiritual connections and there's another one called past life not sorry the other one is called sensually intense spiritual connections so those two videos i've made um, based on all of the things that all of you guys have been through my clients everybody that's writing in the comments and so hopefully it makes more sense to you It'll make more sense because you're not alone. A lot of people feel this way. It's a very intense connection. Here we have creativity followed by grief. Then we have mystery. And we have sensuality. Oh, you have sensuality as well. I didn't even notice that. Sensuality and sexuality. So there is a lot of lust in this connection. We have betrayal. We have sexuality. We have laughter. Mm, an awakening followed by beauty under the bottom of the deck when I have laughter that is my friendship card friendship with lustful cards friend and lust that is actually more of somebody that has a casual connection or friends with benefits intention now not everybody will be in that scenario in that situation but this might be for those of you that are finding yourself kind of stuck in a situation where there's a lot of more lust and less commitment all right I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Pisces, no matter what has happened, there's a part of me that still wants to have something with you. I want to create something with you, something that will be long lasting for the world to see. It is important for me to express to you what it is that I would like to do in this connection, but I find it very difficult now because I'm grieving. Whatever I've done, whatever I said, I am regretting my actions, my intentions, my, my words, even the things that I should have said that I didn't say, the things that I should have done but I never did. Now there is sadness and melancholy and I feel like I've lost you forever. I look outside of my window sometimes and I wonder and I think, will I get a chance to see you again? I miss you. I miss the things that we did together, the potential that we could have had together. 
and it breaks my heart now to see this distance between us emotionally. I turned it into what it is now. I should have watched myself. The connection that I have with you now, I feel, is very spiritual in nature. My feelings towards you are more spiritual and divine, in a way. Nothing seems the same anymore. I never really felt like this with anybody else before. I question the universe and I ask the heavens, why is it that you came into my life? Why now? Why not before? Why not long ago? Why at this particular moment? The timing sometimes seems to be very inconvenient. I can't give to you what it is that you want all the time. I feel that this connection has to do if there's such a thing as a past life. I, I wonder why it is that when I look at you, I feel as if I've found home. As if you are just very familiar and I'm very comfortable with you. I can open up to you. I have this feeling and it's difficult for me to not obsess over you. Difficult for me to let go. And that's why my heart is hurting because I see that this is more than just a physical connection. There is a spiritual connection here. And yes, you are very sensual and it's hard for me to not have you on my mind. Your charisma, your talents, your beauty, the way you move, the way your clothes fall on your body, everything. It's just so beautiful. And I do feel that there's a sense of betrayal in this connection. I feel that in this connection, this feeling of wanting to be someone who I could not. I tried to pretend like I was someone that you wanted, but it didn't really turn out that great. It seems to you as if I was a stranger this entire time, and. You never really knew me at all. I didn't behave the way that you wanted me to. I didn't behave the way that you expected me to. And I understand that there is this misunderstanding between us, but it might not even be a misunderstanding for you. You saw the real me. That is who I am. That is how I have been. And I have betrayed you on an intimate level, energetically as well. I took her for granted, overindulged. I said certain things and I have done certain things that should not have happened. I do feel in this connection there is a sense of laughter, this feeling that I have which is very beautiful. The feeling that I have here is pure joy of friendship and happiness and a sense of understanding of who you are and who I am and how we really can build things together. I do feel that in this connection there is this understanding and this beauty of friendship. I don't want to lose this friendship. It's very sacred to me. I have come to the realization and I'm starting to see things from your perspective, through your eyes, being in your shoes. I've had this awakening feeling, this spiritual awakening, and many things in my life that I've thought that were in a certain way, I'm starting to rethink that. Nothing makes sense to me. It's hard for me to let go of you. I do feel that in this connection I have found somebody, and that is you, who is extremely beautiful. Everything about you is just perfect to me. Your charm, your charisma, your personality, your character, everything. It's not just on the outside, but on the inside as well. For now, all I want to do is create something, but I do find it very difficult to be someone slightly different 
someone who you didn't want to be with in that way and somebody that you just don't recognize. I understand I hurt you and I understand you feel used and abused and misused and I am sorry for that. I regret my actions. I just wish I could say it to you face to face but I just don't know how I would do that. All right. Oh boy, oh boy. Pisces, my dear Pisces. This is a tough one. And it becomes really, really tough when you have a spiritual connection with somebody because you have had a past life together. Or it could be also on a rare occasion I've had readings where it's a future life where from now two to 300 years in the future, you're gonna be with this person. But on a spiritual level, the past, present and the future exists all at one point. So. Your spirit, or not your spirit, but your soul actually recognizes this person. So, yes, could be for some of you from the future. Mainly, though, majority of the time, 98% of the time I've seen is from the past. Um, there's been a few readings that I've done where it's been a future um, reading where you guys actually have not met in the past, but you've met in the future. But your soul recognizes this because, like I said, the past, present, future all exist at one point. So there is no differentiation between the past and the future. You just know this person. So whatever it is, whether it's in the past or whether it's in the future, you guys have some type of a connection. And if you feel very, very intense regarding this person, aware it's hard for you to let go, it's hard for you to not think about them, um, you may feel their energy, things like that. You may feel their presence in the room even. That is very, very strong. And it's what I call double the love, double the pain. Because you've had a lifetime here, you've also had a lifetime elsewhere. And so your soul knows this and that's why the feelings and emotions just come right through. And it's that much more intense. It's not something that a normal human would be able to handle. That's why some of you are here because this is a little above and beyond normal. Let me know if some of you feel that this connection is above and beyond normal. Is it? Yes or no? I think it is because of this card. That's not a normal card. The feeling of this card is not normal because this talks to me about past life connection or just simply a spiritual connection all right let's have a look at the lover's path tarot need one card and one card came right out hmm transformation so you have two major arcanas here. You have transformation and you have de justice. Penelope and Odysseus. Love that. I love that story. Such a pretty story. From the movie The Odyssey, I think. Homer's Odyssey. So we have your transformation and we have justice. Let's have a look at transformation first. So these are the reasons I look into the why. Why something may have gone downhill in this connection in the first place. So some of you might wonder, you know, why didn't it work out with this person? So I'm going to look into the reasons why it may not have worked out with this person. Some of you may know this. Some of you might not even have known this. It might have just been the person might have ghosted you and there's no closure and you don't even know why this person left. So we have transformation. This talks about changes and endings and beginnings. The need to allow something to die metaphorically in order to create room for something new. This person started to feel loss from change. They were afraid of change. Creating life out of something that has died. A rebirth in a way. But what happened here is this person started to have a feeling of stagnation. They were resisting transformation, resisting change to their ways, to their behavior, everything. Here, there was a need to move in a new direction. But there was the inability to do so. And there was a sense of rigidity. So, this person was being very rigid. They were not moving, they were not budging, they're not transforming. They're happy the way they are. They don't want to change. 
because change scares them. That's why they didn't change. So some of you may wonder, why is this person so damn freaking stubborn? Why do they not change their way of thinking? Why are they always the same? Why do they always do that? Uh, this is why. They refuse to change because it is uncomfortable for them. Because it is what they know best. They know how to do such and such thing. And they will stick to only that because that's something that they feel confident about. The moment this person starts to feel a lack of confidence, they're going to harden. Like the shell just kind of hardens. It's like candy, right? I'm seeing candy right now. To some degree, if it's on the pot and you're making candy, you're stirring sugar and it's melting and melting, melting. And yes, it's great. It's fine. But then there comes a time when you kind of stop it and then it starts cooling down. In the heat of the moment, it's very moldable, isn't it? Just like when you're, there's passion. So many things happen at the heat of the moment. But then what happens? When that passion cools down, what happens to that sugar? It solidifies. It gets hard. Very hard. It is not moldable. It's not changeable. It's not flexible anymore. I'm seeing in my mind's eye candy. Caramel on a pot. The color has turned caramel brown. And I see that it is hardening. and It's hard. Now it's, it's not bendable. It's not movable. And so, or rather moldable. Um, and so this is malleable, I think that's what it's called. So this person, to some degree, they were very bendable, very accommodating. They were okay to change. But then there came a time when things started to kind of cool down. And when there was a period of let's make something more promising, let's move in together, let's commit this con connection together, let's be exclusive together, let's say that we're boyfriend, girlfriend, or girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend. Let's do something like that. That next, ne next stage, that extra stage that happens, some of you might have experienced that this person just kind of froze up. They did not want to move forward. Why? Because they're afraid of expanding. It's the fear. All right, we have here also justice. Justice is wisdom, or in this case, a lack of wisdom, a lack of justice, emotional detachment and not being fair. Some of you may feel that this just wasn't fair. You've bent over backwards, been with this person, you've changed your ways for this person, and yet it's still not fair because they never did their share. Here we have Frustrations with bureaucracies or organizations, having impatience, and the appearance of this card shows that this is a temporary situation. However, it's not really a temporary situation. For you, it has gone on a long, long time. But this is a temporary situation. Nothing lasts forever. Remember that. Happiness or sadness. So treasure what you have when you have it at that moment in time. Be mindful of that space and time that you have. The bureaucracies or organizations, some of you, very tiny, tiny portion of you might be working or they might be working for a certain organization, a company, even the military, for example. I've had a lot of clients that are military um, um, soldiers, general, a colonel I've had. So these people find it very difficult to have a particular relationship with an individual when they're actually posted on one side of the country and on the other side they have the person of interest. However, it's difficult for them to adjust because both of them they can't move. Like one can move towards them but then they live on a base, right? So things like that. And it's just a matter of adjustment. There was a lack of that in this connection. And the problem is what I'm seeing is it was very difficult for them to to adjust according to what your life is like or what your life is supposed to be like. They want a lot of changes. And what happened is that they knew there had to be changes, but they were refusing to do it. And part of the reason was they're comfortable where they are. And the other part of the reason was because there was a lack of wisdom when it came to matters of the heart. There was a lack of wisdom of how to be in a relationship together properly and a happy relationship. So because they didn't have a lot of wisdom 
unfortunately, they weren't able to make and take the right steps. That's why they were being kind of rigid as well, because it was very uncomfortable for them. You see, if somebody has experience with something, it's easy for them to jump right into it, right? Public speaking, not everybody can do it, right? I can't do it. How do I do this? I'm not showing my face. I can do this kind of stuff fine, but if I'm in front of a crowd, oh my God, <laughs> it is very difficult for me. But the thing is, I don't have a lot of experience with that, right? Some people have a lot of experience, and so boom, they just, you can tell them what to say, and they'll just go up and they'll say it. There's no issues whatsoever. There's people that I know they take anxiety medication in order to go in front of crowds and speak. But what's the difference there? That's an example I'm giving you as a scenario. And it goes very well with this particular individual that they didn't have the experience, so they just didn't move forward. But if you have experience, it's not hard to go and do that. It's all a matter of wisdom and experience. And if somebody avoids something, it's because they have not truly experienced it before. And if they have experienced, they might have had a bad experience, and so they don't want to move forward. Think about it, Pisces. Let me know in the comments below. Did any of this kind of go with you guys? I see how both of them go hand in hand. If it does resonate, let me know. And if you want to share your story, feel free to. I do read the comments as much as I can. <clears throat> All right, we have here also, ooh, aren't you just happy to come out? We have the Fool card, not bad. We have Ace of Cups, amazing, very good. So these are any actions, any intentions, any plans that this person may have towards you in the coming future. Okay. Three of Pentacles. All right. So, interesting. Oh, we got a little peekaboo card, don't we? Look at that. Peekaboo. Seven of Wands. Well, this is the Beginner's Tarot deck, very similar to the Rider Waite. Um, we have here... Let me start slightly differently. Let me start with the one that's under the bottom of the deck, because this is the overall arching theme that kind of puts an invisible umbrella under all of these cards, okay? So these cards are under this umbrella, which is the Three of Cups. This person wants to have a reconciliation, for a tiny portion of you, could be a third party situation, just to let you know. This is also maybe why they don't really want to budge or move, um, because their, their lifestyle is a certain way and they don't want to change it. For others of you, this is simply this person really wanting to just have fun, go out, release, be happy, and celebrate the fact that there is this reunion between the both of you. This is a really good card here. We start off with Fool. This person is definitely immature, okay? So going forward, please keep in mind for some of you, you will have to be that guiding light, that person that holds this person's finger and you guide them on the right path. That's what this card talks about here. They take action first and think later, which is very irrational behavior. This is not practical, this is not mature. The problem with this is that they make they, they may make some type of rash decision and regret it in the end. As soon as your connection may begin, it might end it's just as fast. You don't want that to happen. You want somebody who's like the Knight, of Co the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race because then they've actually thought about things. Here we also have a beautiful card, Ace of Cups. Absolutely gorgeous. There is definitely going to be some communication coming in. This person wants to, yes, take a leap of faith with you, but they also want to express to you how they feel about you. There's a sense of forgiveness here, and there is an expression of love, of love. This person may actually confess to you how they feel about you. We also have here the Two of Wands. Why are they confessing? Because they finally made a decision regarding you. We also have another Three here. So a Three of Pentacles definitely could be a third-party situation, somebody you might have met at work. Um, this person could be somebody you have you might be working with still, or maybe you've met them at work uh, before. And so you're associated to this individual through some type of organization, some of you. 
And this person, if that's the case, then this person is falling in love with you, legit. But then again, we have the Ace of Cups. I gave it away right there. We also have um, the Seven of Wands. It's like this. What I'm seeing right now, I'm seeing another small vision analogy. I'm seeing a stage, and I see actors in the front. And in the back, I see some actors fighting. The struggle in the back. So here, it's almost as if, yes, everything seems good on the surface. However, still, in this person's personal life, they need to settle some things that are out of their control, that are creating a lot of issues and struggle in their life. So, yes, is, is this a difficult situation for them? Yes, it is. Is it um, affecting their ability for reaching out to you? It might just a little bit. But are they going to reach out to you? I do see that here, yes. The cards are really positive. De definitely the Ace of Cups, the Fool, that's an actual action card. And then we have here the Three of Cups. So if this person does reach out to you, just remember not to rush into anything just like they want to rush in. So you're going to have to be a little bit of the more mature person here. And guide this person and let them know that, you know, how you actually can build a relationship together and how, can you can, how you can build your kingdom together by being a team and working as a team. This person still has a lot to learn. They are immature in a way. Sometimes they're immature and sometimes they're just completely inexperienced. But because you may have that experience and maybe you're more mature than this person, this is definitely your game. You make the rules. You let them know how it's going to be. All right. All right, let's have a look at Archangel Answer Cards. Just going to do a quick prayer. All right. Hmm. Let's have a look here. So these messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel. Take action, yes. So I definitely see that in this connection, it's better if you take action. But l let it just wait for a little bit, okay? Let this person kind of be a bit more mature, let them learn from their mistakes. Um, it's going to take some time, but when the time is right, when you feel it's right, definitely it's best if you take action because I do see this person is very different. Their method of approach to things is very rash, um, almost immature in a way. I hear somebody saying, you don't think, you don't think. And then another sentence here, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? I see the feminine energy very angry with the masculine. A lot of frustration. <laughs> I don't know if I said this one, but I'm getting another sentence you don't think. All right. Interesting. You have quite an array of cards here. We have here take action, followed by ask for help from others. Then we have romance. Look for a sign. Perfect timing. Within the next few weeks, and then we have opportunity. Under the bottom of the deck, the overarching theme, we have peaceful resolution. Now, here we have first cards as strong as take action. So it does talk about taking action um, in this connection. And also here we have ask for help from others. So asking for help from others could literally be you talking to a friend, a family member, or even, for example, 
going to a therapist, talking to a doctor, talking to somebody online that deals with relationships. It could be anybody. As long as it's another human being, that is what it is. Somebody that wrote a book, somebody that is on YouTube with a YouTube channel um, that deals with um, like an expert coach, for example, that deals with relationships. So ask for help from others. Why is that important? Because you will see a different perspective. Because you will learn something that you have not gone through, but somebody else has. And you will learn from their eyes. And you will have that awakening moment where things have changed for you because it's this aha moment. It's probably maybe why you have the awakening card as well. You're going to be learning many, many things um, in the coming future as well. <clears throat> we also have here romance. So once again, this is definitely a double confirmation. This connection is a very spiritually bound connection. Um, you guys might be soulmates, twin flames, karmic partners, maybe even more. Now, they are saying look for a sign. Now, a sign could be, what I'm seeing here, is that this person may just try to reach out to you. But remember, them reaching out might literally be just one text message saying, Hey, H-E-Y, hey, that's it. As strange and odd as that sounds, that is this person's way of somehow wiggling their way back into your life. Okay? They're trying to squiggle their way. And before they couldn't, but now they feel that they can, and now that they, they feel that it's time for them to try. So do look for a sign when it comes to any type of communication, directly or indirectly. It could even be through somebody else. You may hear something through somebody else. Um, here we also have perfect timing. So when this does happen, there's no rushing love, okay? Um, you can't rush love. And the thing is that this person's going to take some time getting over whatever has happened and learning from their mistakes, learning from other people. Like it says here, ask for help from others as well. They might even be doing this too. But the timing will be perfect. This is divine timing, when it's actually supposed to happen. It'll happen when it happens because that's the right time for it to happen. Okay? Just like I've mentioned, you bake a cake... <clears throat> One of my analogies that I have, you take the cake out too early, then it will become flat, right? The cake will flatten. And that's an issue. You don't want the cake to flatten. You want the cake to be perfectly fine, perfectly good. And because of that, um, there is this, there's, there's this wait time. And you see the cake and it's rising. But what happens if you take it out too soon, the cake will become flat, it won't taste the same, it's not the right cake, it's not, the, it's not a cake properly, right? Um, it's raw, and that's what's happening here, that there's a time for everything, and everything takes time, and your time will come. But the timing will happen when it's the right time to happen, right? We have here also, within the next few weeks, opportunity. I see this here, some of you may just receive an opportunity from this person and you might just receive another opportunity from somebody else. This other opportunity from another individual, this person could also be <coughs> a spiritual, sorry, <coughs> a spiritual connection. Um, this person could also be somebody that is from your past life. A lot of the readings that I do, like I would say 99.99% um, the one time I had was when this lady had a crush on somebody, but it turned out it was simply just a crush. It was some random guy. It was not a spiritual connection, but when I say 99.9%, .9%, it's because I did that one reading. Otherwise, it's 100% of the time. Anybody that you've had some type of a connection with, that person is somehow related to you spiritually, on a spiritual level, in a romantic way. And it happens very often. It's like, that's the way it happens, I've seen. Everybody has some type of a connection with you. So even if you receive an opportunity from somebody else, try to take that opportunity, see where it goes, because eventually this person, yes, they may reach out to you, but don't discard any type of opportunities. Now, if it's not from another person, if it's from this person, definitely take the opportunity, because that's when the timing will be just perfect. And yes, you do have a timeline here. Within the next few weeks or months, it could be 
that there are going to be some positive changes. And we also have here peaceful resolution. There's been a lot of hurt and pain in this connection and a lot of misunderstandings to some degree. So what I see here is there's going to be a, a talk through. You guys are going to talk about this and it's going to be good. You will be able to um, understand what it is, uh, wh where the other person is coming from because you simply talked about it. So the peaceful resolution will be coming up at some point in time. Pisces, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity, some guidance in your situation. Do let me know in the comments below how any of this may have resonated, if it has. Right now I'm still doing love readings. Those are my written report readings, if any of you are interested. That's a, obviously a personal reading, but it's all conducted by myself. It, it is a written report. And um, it's the same thing. All the cards that you see here, I, I use these cards. All right? All right, then. Have a look on my website. That is asnoinshia.com. You'll see under the rates and packages section this particular type of written report that I have, the reading that I do. But I do recommend that you read through it because there is a certain amount of things that I provide and I might not cover the things that you want. So just be sure you have a look at that particular reading what type of information I provide to you and that way at least you know there's no surprises so that's why I have the description there for you all right you all take care stay safe and I'll see you guys again bye now